steel and steam, on the rails and on the seas, have by the end of the 19th century transformed the world economy. Once oil has replaced coal, no country is unaware of its dependence upon others for the raw materials necessary in a modern industrialized economy. The hunger to rebuild after World War I creates a 10-year global boom in industry and the credit necessary to finance the effort. But as the Roaring Twenties come to an end, people, companies, and whole countries find they have used up their credit and aren't making enough money to pay back their loans. People stop paying their mortgages and lose their farms and homes. Massive unemployment is the result as companies run out of cash and their stocks dive. It spreads throughout the world as countries close their borders to imports in hopes of protecting their industries. By the early 30s, the world economy is sick and all industrialized countries in depression. In one way or another, all governments will seek to control economies through centralized banking and import-export controls throughout the rest of the century. Our dollar is now altogether too much influenced by the internal policies of other nations. Therefore, the United States must take firmly in its own hands the control of the gold value of our dollar.